Howdy y'all, it's Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns and beautiful. Take in how blue that sky is. Atlanta, Georgia. Today is, what is it, March the 24th, 2023. And on today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of an adjustment on the Echo PB9010T. Now, pretty much since I've had this blower, it's got... Uh, about 170 almost 200 hours 171 hours it's never liked uh, being started when it's cold and it doesn't run very smooth until it's fully warmed up uh, once it warms up it's perfect it starts immediately like a quarter of a pull but the carburetor needs a little bit of an adjustment so that's what we're going to be doing today now I'm going to put a link to the Amazon tools down below. All right, you're going to need two tools to do this. One, you're going to need the uh, long version of the uh, small D, and then you're going to need a little tiny version of the same small D fitting because um, if you don't, the idle mixture that's uh, right down in that hole right there, you would have to take all this off because it's in the way. So you can use this little tool um, to get in there. And the adjustment hole for the wide open high speed is right here, right? And then the low speed is right there. So let me redeploy this tripod and let me show you what this does when it's cold. I haven't, um, there's the exhaust. I haven't cranked it up since yesterday. It's just been sitting outside. It's about mm, almost 80 degrees out here. So it shouldn't act like this, but let me show you what it does. All right, so primer bulb, turn it on, choke on, and then we'll see how many pulls it takes. One. All right, so it pops off, turn the choke off. dies out when you hit the throttle. So if I add a little bit of choke as I'm doing it, uh, it's baking the air fuel mixture a little bit richer. So let me try it again. really bad when it's colder outside so let's see if we can't fix this so I know that it needs to be richened up because as I said when I'm doing this and I give it a little bit more choke it will um, kind of correct the problem so well masks the problem it doesn't correct it we're gonna get correct it. So I'm going to turn both of these screws out. So if you go in, if you turn it in, that's going to uh, lean it out. If you go counterclockwise, it will richen it up. So it takes a very, you need to just kind of feel where the, the flat nub is on here. So I'm, bare, I'm not adjusting it, I'm just trying to feel where the detent is. Okay, there it is right there. So I'm going to turn this out one quarter of a turn. Okay, about right there. And then I'm taking the small tool here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn this. Well, look at there. That's going to interfere. All right. So I'm going to need to take this, loosen it, and just spin it around. Because this is just barely blocking this. So let me grab a screwdriver. All right. So I'm just going to spin that around. 
okay that goes in there so just very gently I'm trying to find where the detent is made it a little richer so let's um, see what happens should improve it so I'm gonna try it without the choke first Right, that has never started that fast when it was cold I'm gonna let it idle here for just a little bit and see what it's like when it's completely warm but I gotta tell you that these two tools are the best investments ever these are the actual wall burrow tools. That's the manufacturer of that carburetor. So I will put the part numbers in the link. I'll put a link to Amazon where you can get these. Here's the problem. If, if I were to take that blower to the dealer, um, they're going to be worried about, well, shall we say, uh, government issues with emissions even though it's probably putting out more emissions when i'm having to constantly crank on the the choke to get it to run but you saw how it ran and it was stable and so let me run it and get it warmed up and then we'll uh do a high speed test when it's warm goodness what a difference a quarter turn makes on the low and high speed adjustment that's all I did was a quarter of a turn this thing runs like a scalded ape now so I, I didn't have that much problem when it was warm right it wouldn't occasionally I'd get a little hiccup but that's because it was running too lean Quarter turn, little dabble do ya. All right, so, um, wow. <laughs> I've been running this thing for 170 hours and I was not getting full power. Yeah, it definitely, it's very, very clean now. The sound when it's running and you saw the throttle response is instant. Not, not a tiny little hiccup or nothing when it was wide open. Hey, you gotta work on your own stuff. So, so it's right. You gotta do it for you. Do it for you. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put the link down below for the tools, the two tools that I used. And, um, oh, you know what? I gotta make sure to tighten this clamp back up. Let's do that real quick. Yeah. Man, that is awesome. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm going to tell you, there's no other blower. It's got the power of this Echo. If it was, I'd have it. So, anyway... Uh, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If you got a blower, I don't care what kind of blower you got. Adjust the high 
all blowers are all blowers are adjustable somehow sometimes they got a little plug in there that they've put in there to keep you from getting to the adjustment screw but good stuff anyway thank you for watching the video and i will see you on the next one